breaking news out of Amazon. It looks like they are stopping non-GS1 barcodes. Let me tell you all about it in this video. Now, if you like this kind of information where I'm helping you build your own money-making business on Amazon, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way, I will know that you want more information just like this. Also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you've got any comments for me or questions, you know what to do, put them below and I'll answer them personally. With that being said, let's talk GS1. Breaking news. So this is something that I think has been coming for a long, long time. And that is the um, Amazon looking to clear out their catalog uh, of crappy products. And it looks like the primary way they are looking to do that is by only letting ASINs that have got a GS1 barcode attached to them update their listings. Okay, so let me just unpack that for you. So it uh, hasn't happened to me mm, because I've sold my business, obviously, but uh, most of my stuff was GS1 barcodes anyway, my newer stuff anyway. But what I'm being told is this, uh, any products that are using old speedy barcodes, nationwide barcodes, eBay purchase barcodes, stuff like that, whereby uh, the barcode is not present in the GS1 directory, and it, it, it could be if it's speedy barcode, it could be if it's native. I'm not saying that's not the case, okay? But it has to be present in the GS1 database. Otherwise, uh, what's happening is Amazon is not allowing you to update the ASIN. Won't allow you to update the title. Won't allow you to update the images. It's just stopping the update process, okay? Which is a very, very um, tacit way of stopping those products being updated and therefore, I'm sure, getting rid of them from the Amazon marketplace. So that is what's happening, which is interesting. And it's kind of, if you think about it, it was inevitable that it would happen sooner or later. So if you are putting together a new product, get a GS1 barcode. Here is one link for GS1. If you just want one, you probably would never ever just get one. But if you do just want one, that is the link to use. If you want more than one, you should get them from here, where you can get 10. Okay. If you are uh, wholesaling, or you've got a very, very small run of products, you should apply for a GTIN exception. GTIN exception. Just Google that. You'll find it on Amazon's website. You just need to explain what it is you're selling, uh, why you want the exception, and they'll give you an exception for that. So you don't need a GS1 barcode for that. However, if you are planning to private label and go big and you want to get brand registry and stuff like that, ultimately, invest in a GS1 barcode. It's better. It's much, much better. You get much more protection if you've got a GS1 barcode that's associated with your company in the Amazon database, makes it easier to kick off hijackers. Um, you get a lot of access to a lot of cool shit. Well worth doing, anyway. Oh, Rosie says, make sure you only get the 12 digit UPC or the 13 digit EAN. So the 12 digit UPC, that's gonna suit um, the USA suits the um, uh, Australian marketplace, also suits Japan as well. The 13-digit EAN, they're predominantly for the European marketplace, okay? And you can just get both of those two. Neil, sorry, it's Rosie. Can I just step in for a sec? Please, Rosie, go sorry. ahead, hon. I haven't got my video on. But, yeah, just, just to clarify, um, I've, I've seen a couple of people who have bought 14-digit barcodes and they're only for case packed products not mm. individual products so it hasn't really i haven't seen it cause an issue on amazon but it's not really descriptive or representative of what the product is so try and stick with the 12 digit which you can get from the us um gs1 mark yeah the us gs1 website 
or EAN 13 digit, which you can get from Australia or the UK. Wonderful. Thanks so much for that, Rosie. Um, okay, so hopefully that little public service announcement from Rosie and myself will inspire you to get one of those done. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie online entrepreneurs. We are the fastest growing community of e-commerce entrepreneurs here in Australia. Over 2,600 members and counting with sales, by the way, of over $50 million. If you'd like to find out more about what we do and come and join us, of course, get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link is in the description below. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.